of an eye team investigation tonight, and if you ever get your nails done at a salon, you'll want to listen to this. A Connecticut lawmaker is proposing a new license for nail technicians. And as chief investigative reporter Eric Parker found out, what happens now is a free-for-all, and a dirty salon could have some disgusting consequences. When she was presented with the idea, State Rep Jillian Gilchrist thought regulating nail technicians in Connecticut made sense. But Connecticut is currently the only state that doesn't regulate nail salons. But she was floored by what happened next. Calls, emails, Facebook posts from folks who once they've seen the bill, they are so pleased because they've had an infection in their foot for two years. And infections are just one of the issues nail tech licensing hopes to avoid. The industry is also a frequent target of human traffickers. Currently in the state of Connecticut, someone just has to go to their local town hall and say they want to open a business and they can open a nail salon. So we want to ensure that the business owner themselves is trained and then we want to ensure that nail technicians have training. I think it's an excellent idea. It really would be a benefit for the technicians themselves and certainly for the customers. But Gilcrest's proposal is just that, an idea. To find out what's happening now, the I-Team sat down with Barbara Gelati, the lead inspector of the Central Connecticut Health District. In their member towns, nail salons do need a license to operate. We do an annual inspection. It means we go in once a year, we're checking for basic sanitation. Many health districts do not license salons or do annual inspections, instead only responding to complaints. Gelati does that too. The worst case is when somebody comes down with some sort of a fungus or infection in their nails. So we asked her what to watch for. She says a strong chemical smell is bad because it suggests poor ventilation. You also want to see a clean work area, a technician who washes their hands in front of each customer, single-use tools, and good cleaning. The equipment they're using on you should be either new or clean. If they're taking sanding blocks or emery boards out of a drawer that have white nail dust on them, that's a problem. It's a red flag. Another red flag in the central Connecticut district towns of Rocky Hill, Wethersfield, Newington, and Berlin is a UV sterilizer. They're ineffective if used improperly, so they're not allowed here. Usually they're long enough to see people come and go and you see what they're doing for cleaning between customers. So you can be your own inspector? Yes, you can. There really are many differences from place to place. In Manchester, they don't license salons yet, but they're starting a program this spring. Middletown does have a license, but says complaints in their district are rare. If you have a regular nail spot, your best bet is to call your local health district to see if the record comes back clean. With the I-Team, Eric Parker, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.